Arkham is continuing to ask the Department of Transportation for answers. He joins us now in the newsroom with an update on the story. Matt? Good evening, Jerry. Heavy construction on the Twin Bridges will begin again next week with the same contractor on the job. The project contract was awarded by the DOT on a best value method based on cost and past performance. But last week, the company was forced to pay a penalty for poor performance. Some of you say it's accountability in name, but not in practice. There does need to be more responsibility on both the contractor and the government agency that issues these contracts. A contract violation made the Northway the slow way to work last Thursday. Construction leading to the Twins wasn't wrapped up as it should have been by the morning rush. People told us they had no warning of traffic troubles. Lane Construction is the contractor. The agreement between it and the Department of Transportation, $29 million. The fine for finishing overnight work at 7.15 a.m., $2,750. In state contracts, the penalties are often not sufficient to really deter action such as this. Sometimes it makes business sense to simply say, we're going to run over and not clean up for the night like we're supposed to under the contract because it'll cost us more to do that. Since our story last week, we offered the DOT several chances to respond on camera. They declined to take those invitations. However, they do tell us they think Lane Construction is a professional company and despite being fined, didn't do anything wrong. A DOT spokesman does say fines are based on the hour of the day and the amount of traffic. Though this fine was about two and a half thousand dollars, it could have been fifteen thousand dollars if the construction glitch happened between four and seven p.m. With that in mind, if two lanes of the twin bridges remained closed later in the morning, the fine lane construction was hit with would have grown substantially, the DOT says. And though lane construction has a field office here and has been working on the project for some time, the company is based in Connecticut, something critics say may play a role in their decision. People who live in the community and are affected by these decisions might be more open to not slowing down the morning commute. Well, the DOT tells me that most of the labor force is actually local, and there are a number of subcontractors that are local working on the Twin Bridges contract, and they're based nearby. A representative named 12 to me, and they handle steel and concrete work, among other things like welding. Now, last week, we reached out to Lane Construction's Connecticut office for comment. They deferred me back to the state. At 6.30, we asked the government watchdogs why that might be. Live in the newsroom, I'm Matt Markham, CBS 6 News.